As we all know, the third Monday of the month has been named Moxie Monday by yours truly. What is the significance of Moxie Monday? Nothing. It's just stupid. It's just, I, I just wanted to make it a thing. <laughs> It has no meaning to it whatsoever, but last month on the 21st, I think, not the 21st, I, it might have been the 21st, it was like the third Monday of the month, I was like, every third Monday shall be Moxie Monday, and it means nothing, but we're gonna pretend like it means something until it shadow, does. but under Trick Room, it'll still be under speeding, uh, or it will still be going before the Groudon, so I can go for Tickle. But yeah, let's, let's get it. Let's get it. My first Master Ball tier battle of the season, because I could not be bothered to play any others. Uh, Mr. Rhyme's looking pretty sweet in this in this matchup. I could also lead off with Groudon, just because of how slow their team... Or, because of the fact that they're probably going to lead off with Kyogre themselves. Um, Mandibuzz looks phenomenal as well, and I think I'm going to go Venu. We'll do it. Let's get it. But, yeah. It's rhyme time. It is 100% rhyme time. I've never played Xenoblade. Isn't there a guy named Rhine? People say like it's Rhine time. I, I can't. I can't play Xenoblade by virtue of, um, I I I think it's weird that like, it's like a a waifu collecting simulator in the second game, mainly because that's just like, weird. Like why why did they make it like that? I I know I'm I'm certain that there's like a great story behind it, but like. I have to like look past like all of these swords that matter to the plot and just pretend like like they're not like weird bait, you know? <laughs> yeah, I mean I've heard Xenoblade One's phenomenal. Xenoblade two is apparently where like things get all waifu-ish. So anyone watching this video after the fact, let me know, is Xenoblade one and two worth it? I might try it out. Oh, Oh, it's gamer time. You don't understand, we need all these wafus. They stopped making copies of two. Okay, I'm I'm willing to go on a limb and say that um I should be able to get off a trick room here. And I am gonna dude, I'm actually just gonna swords dance. This is really greedy, but I think that um I think that they're gonna wanna get this Landorus out of here. Oh, let's go. Let's go. It's over. It's done. This game has... Oh, this game's been over. This game has actually been over. <laughs> Can I get a forfeit, please? <laughs> Can you just forfeit at this point, dude? <laughs> like, like, realistically, what's your play? Explain to me what you do to not lose here. Dragon or Jordan, how you doing? I mean, yeah, I can just freeze dry here. Uh, obviously, like... Urshifu is a little scary. I have to go for P-Blades, which kind of sucks because I don't want to. I don't want to go for P-Blades because it can miss. Um, but I have to because if they go into the Kyogre, then Urshifu is going to easily live this. And there I go, into my Sash. By the way, the next turn I should be fine as long as I connect. Hopefully you're not like Sash. I'm pretty sure it's going to be like Sash or Urshifu. Yeah, so if I connect this, the Urshifu is dead if it's not Sash. This next turn I can avoid a Sucker Punch by going for Tickle onto the Kyogre. And if I land, it's just gone. Oh, it's not. This No, I just won. I, I think I just won. I'm, I'm going to go on a limb and say I just won. Talonflame, hello? My good sir, what were you expecting to get done here? Okay, so obviously Talonflame has, like, priority right now. I have plenty of options for beating them, realistically speaking. Um, I'm gonna get out my Mandibuzz and go for a P-Blades. Because, I, I mean, like, I'm gonna get... Actually, do I? I think I just keep the Mr. Rhyme in, honestly. I'm gonna go for the Tickle Play, just for content purposes. I need to go for the Tickle Play. Oh, a Murder! For anyone watching in post, that was a that was a chat. I didn't just randomly do a goofy impression. All right, um, I'm feeling pretty good about this game. Pretty low chance that uh, their Kyogre is faster or slower than me right now, uh, and I can also just click Snarl until the end of time. All right, 
Snarl. P-Blades yeah, Lottery, baby. P-Blades Lottery. Connect my Snarl. Watch me actually be slower. Or, like, actually not be slow enough. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, we win. We're good. We're good. We're good. Nice. There we go! <laughs> there we go! Ladies and gentlemen, that is how you... That, that, that is how you ball with Mr. Rhyme. That is actually how you ball with Mr. Rhyme. Oh, I didn't shut off clips. I think I turned it on for subs. Literally just because I wanted to give people an incentive to sub, and I didn't think people would mind me turning off clips. Wait, did I disconnect? Hello? I'm on Ethernet. Look at me. Look at my little Ethernet symbol. No way I disconnected. There is literally no way I disconnected there. On God, if 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 I if I lose points, if I lose points here, someone will be speaking to my lawyer. Did that go up or down? I wasn't paying attention to the pre I wasn't paying attention to the previous number. 34. That went down. Um, hmm. That went down by one point, but I'm going to assume that means that in a second here, I'm going to get my points because they, they disconnected. Guaranteed. They're the one that disconnected. There was no update. Uh, I'm on Ethernet. How did that happen? Yeah, it changed by like one point, so I'm going to assume that's temporary. We'll see if we get like double points from winning this. Nine wins, four losses. Does that look accurate? How many do we go in with? I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out soon. We'll find out. But I'm disappointed. There's a new glitch to DC and keep points. Well, guess what? They got caught in 4K. Well, not 4K. I stream at 1080. But they still got caught. That's what matters. Um, Monsieur Rhyme and Mandibus. I'm going to say you guys are going to be my best friends in this matchup. I'm going to bring my own grout on. And Stack Attacka looks phenomenal. Yeah, that's messed up. Um, who was I facing? What matters is they suck at the game. They suck at the game, and then they compensated by actually pulling a glitch to keep some points. Boo-hoo! I lost points to Moxie Boosted while he used Mr. Rhyme. Now I'm gonna do a glitch on him. I have no honor whatsoever. Now, Pokey the Mons here. I can tell he's got honor. Look at that Dracovish. That is an honorable Pokemon. How he glitched though? I don't know. But apparently you can there there are a couple of glitches that have existed. One of the older glitches was like you just disconnect at the right time and force no one to lose points. This one might be the same he might have used the same glitch or maybe a new version of it, but whatever. Whatever. In the Torn Ogre Timmy voice. <laughs> Torn Ogre Timmy. That's actually a good one. I, I haven't heard that one. Torn Ogre Timmy. And they just get... They just get freaking nay-nayed by this. What do you do in this situation? You can't taunt me. I'm gonna snarl both of your Pokemon. And your Trick Room options are, like, not that good. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Do this. I shouldn't even have to snarl, technically. I could just go right into stack attack and start taking lives. Because they should be concerned about Mandibuzz. I'm just going to go right into stack attack and TR. Oh my god, it's Moxie Monday. It is Cosmonaut Duck. 
The third Monday of every month is Moxie Monday. Mark it on your calendars. Dude, if he goes for a Tailwind here, if he goes for a Tailwind here, I'd be really surprised. Like, you don't do that, right? Shadow Ball? Alright, he's trying to get the KO. Um, I should take a double up. If that's some... Oh, maybe not anymore. Oh, no. Um, so I would have gotten Trick Room off. That kind of sucks. <laughs> that kind of really sucks. Uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that Mr. Rhyme 100% would have eaten the double up if he didn't get the special defense drop. However, I should still be able to get this off. Um, I'm just going to Swords Dance Trick Room. All right, if it's Incineroar, I'm going to be so happy. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Incineroar, for coming in here and being absolutely useless. Oh, no. My attack stat. My attack stat. What am I going to do? And it's back. And it's better. All right. Um. So my play here is actually kind of interesting the easiest way for me to not get flare blitzed and die is going to be to go for this body press play because a double body press will ko i have to protect this turn obviously however um if i body press here i think it'll be in range of a rock slide next turn um unless he's like citrus obviously but i have to be careful and he can't encore me because of psychic terrain so that's great All right, that's fine. I'm just going to start clicking P-Blades. Yeah, that's not that's not the end of the world. I just P-Blades again. Imagine if I double SD'd. Yeah. Um, is there a reason to not rock slide? No. Or to, to rock slide? Yes, there is a reason... Not rock slide. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and P blades and gyro ball, and that should do it. I'm gonna get a double here, and I'm gonna be back at neutral with my guy, so that's pretty baller. As long as I connect, obviously, which with Groudon, that's uh, more or less just luck. Thank you, Groudon. You're extremely accurate today. I also P blades. <laughs> That'd be painful. That'd be very painful. <laughs> Alright, yeah, there's Calyrex. I'm gonna say I win. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say I win here. Just because, by virtue of Mandibuzz still existing, I, I win. And I always double down this in Sin. Schmintimidate. Have a nice uh, Fiend River. Why can't I speak? Have a nice night, Fiend River. Get some sleep. Alright, do your thing, Groudon. Connect to P-Blades. Protect Incineroar incoming. I guarantee it. Guarantee it. These things only happen on Moxie Monday. Moxie Monday is just a day set aside where I can get a lot of points because everyone will just, like, lose. It's just my good luck day. There's the Flare Blitz. I'm gonna live this. Oh, into stack. I guess he was trying to anticipate my protect again, but why would I do that there? All right, connect on Incin, please. That'll just speed this up. Nice. That's game. That's game. Sleep. Now you're just gonna pe keep posting dumb stuff. Understandable. Understandable. All right, um, how many turns of Trick Room are left? I think this is the last turn. Yep, so it is on this turn. We get in our Mandibuzz just to let him know what is up. And we're going to go for the Heat Crash because I'm pretty sure that just KOs at plus one in the sun. I better be getting, like, double points for this game. If that glitch worked and I don't get any points for that last game, I'm going to be big upset. 
And he's dead. Nice. So, uh, unfortunately, Mr. Rhyme didn't do anything that game. However, he did carry game one, like, on his back. Okay, I won last game, but whatever. I better get, like, double points here, man. I better. I didn't. I got I got normal points. Thank you, bad Master Ball player who decided that Everyone he didn't want to lose Why points? can't you? Here we go. Is this the rare Growl Pelipper? Pokemon Veteran CJ, how you doing? I want to say this is the rare Growl Pelipper. Uh, Mr. Mime lead looks absolutely based. I'm gonna put it that way. Looks entirely based. I'm gonna put my Growl on in the back with an Entei in the front. And who else is coming to this match? None other than our friend Stack Attacka. Let's do it. Cosmonaut Duck, the upside of having a god-awful sleep schedule is being here for Moxie Monday. Exactly. It's Moxie Monday. Why was that like the longest 10 minutes of my life? I have no idea. <laughs> I got no idea. But yeah, no. Uh, to prevent like hate raids and stuff, I actually went ahead and turned on um, follower-only chat. And it yeah, it takes 10 minutes, so that's that's the thing. Okay, um, Entei's inner focus means he's absolutely goaded here. You guys want to see something cool? You guys want to see something really cool? If I get him my Grout on here, they should be anticipating a fake out, all things considered. They should, like, expect the fake out, right? I'm going to say they call the fake out here. They should call the fake out. There it is. Yes, I got him. I got him good. <laughs> got him good, boys. Hey, Rager Bonds, I thank you for the subscription. And the trick room goes up, and it's time to go to town. It is absolutely time to go to town. All right, check this out. Check this out, check this out. I'm gonna pee blades here. I don't care if the, um, I don't care if the, I guess if Pelipper comes in and the Incinera parting shots, that's kind of annoying, but I still get a KO on the Pelipper. Because my opponent had no incentive of faking out there. They should have always just gone for Flare Blitz to try to prevent Trick Room. As we see, are they going for Roar? Why was I... Am I just... Are they like Max Speed and Cinerar? That's a bad set. I shouldn't be faster than you. Did they go for Roar? Why am I going first? I can't explain this. Why am I going first? What? Dude, we're looking at this guy's team. I need to see that Incineroar spread. It's either max speed or it's literally... It, or, or it went for Roar for some reason. Alright. Um, there's no reason to stay in here with Mr. Rhyme. Yeah, I'm under Trick Room right now. So there's no reason I should be going first. And I know I'm under Trick Room because I clicked it, and also because Mr. Rhyme went before my, my guy. If I sack anything, it's stack here. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to check this guy's team. I'm gonna have to proofread this guy's paper. Oh, he tried it. It was safety goggles. <laughs> Dude, Mr. Rhyme's just carrying this team on his back. Oh, really? On God? That's your play? That's what you decided to do there? 
Are you ready for the biggest flex of my career? Probably my third biggest flex, all things considered, considering how many giant flexes I've had. Oh, I wanted to tickle him. <laughs> it, we, we almost went to Tickle Town, dude. We almost took him to Tickle Town. Let me try to look at his team. I need to know. Yeah, let me see. He had to have gone for Roar there, right? What? This is the most evil Incineroar I've seen in my life. He was jolly max speed. Evil. Absolutely evil Incineroar. This man said, I'm tired of losing the fake out war and went jolly. And you know what happened? It lost him the game. This only happens on Moxie Monday. <laughs> this is a Moxie Monday Le exclusive. Fire, <laughs> Le fire roar. Hmm. Well, we know what happens here. Um, stack or Venu? I want to say Venu. I think Venu is a lot better here. But stack could also be really, really good. Hey, Pyrotaz, Tommy, how you been? It's Moxie Monday. Only on Moxie Monday do we get celebrity guest appearances. I'm gonna say, I mean, we're, we're pretty weak to his team if we bring stack. I'm gonna go Venu. I'm gonna go Venu. Can't stay for long. Had to take my feeble prime sub, fam. Thank you, I appreciate you. Can you switch that Mr. Rhyme to Mime Galler? I can't, unfortunately. Because I need the lower speed tier to be better under Trick Room. They are going to make that Honchkrow plushie? Dude, they better, or I'm going to get violent. <laughs> I'm joking. My opponent with the Hermit purple background. I really want to click Tickle. I really want to click Tickle one of these games. Ornatus Kyogre. Uh, in this situation, I want to say this is a very, very free Trick Room. Because I should always take this hit, unless he's like Rain Dance. Unless he's Rain Dance, I should take it. What? Are, he's not Rain Dance. This guy's rank 1800. I'm going to go ahead and Trick Room, and I'm also going to make the most based play of my life. Behold. Um, come in, Zarina. Zarina, we're waiting for you. Watch, he's actually going to be Rain Dance, and this will be the most wasted turn of my life. He was actually rained at. Oh my god, dude. Rager Bonsai with the gifting subs. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate you. Gifting five tier one. I appreciate you, man. Uh, that helps me feel better about what just happened to me. <laughs> that definitely may that definitely takes the sting of defeat out of my out of my soul. <laughs> I've been I've been bean boozled. I, I've been doing the bean boozling so long I didn't expect it to happen to me. All right, let me freeze dry this Tornadus. Um, I want a Grass Knot. It, it's Timid Life Orb, but it probably won't KO. All love, bro. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. you do, you've done a lot to help out the channel. All right. Um, all right, we could freeze him, I suppose. Can I get the freeze? Oh, he uh, was Wakanberry, I suppose? Hey, Nate likes chicken. Thank you so much. Welcome to the channel. As we do absolutely insane damage with our life orb. You know, all things considered, this isn't a terrible situation. We kept our sash on our Mr. Rhyme. There's an Urshfu on the field. I... I should... I should hypothetically be able to win this. 
But I have to focus down the Urshifu, unfortunately. I'm going to Sludge Bomb in case the Urshifu is actually... um. So the reason I have to target down Urshifu here is because... Urshifu's like the only Pokemon that could one-shot my Mr. Rhyme. And I'm going to go for a Sludge Bomb into it as well. Because if it isn't Sash, which it should be, um, it'll get redirected into Zarina. And the Zarina has Protect. What? These things are usually AV. I think I win. Yeah, I, I definitely win. I'm going to say I win. If, if that just happened right there, I think I win. <laughs> you think you can beat me just because I made a horrible turn one play? No, not on Moxie Monday. This is the one day of the year you can't beat me because I made a bad play. It's illegal. It is actually illegal on this day. Okay, yeah, no, I can definitely win this. I can definitely win this. Hey, thanks for the sub, Nate. We're on a hype train, too. Listen, Moxie Monday is a beautiful day. The only day where you can get the hype train going. Here, I'm just going to double the Zarina. It's pretty free. Let's go! <laughs> the disconnect! Like, yeah, that freeze totally mattered, bro. That freeze 100% mattered. If you didn't freeze my guy, I would have won. Even though you double into it. Even though I'm Rain Dance Tornadoes, I would have won that game. Let's check that out. Platinum AP, thanks for the thanks for the follow. Blessed to DC. Exactly. Exactly. Was he... F yeah, he wouldn't have been... He would have actually been able to triple axle me, which is why I doubled just in case he decided to go for something else. Um... Yeah, he was Wakanberry, so... Wait. How are you going to run Wakanberry without any bulk? That doesn't make sense. Like, Wakanberry Tailwind is, like, really good, right? Or Wakanberry Rain Dance is, like, really good. But you have to run some bulk on this thing for it to be worth it. Hey, thanks for the sub. Uh, Reggie is... Reggie Sapien, thank you. Is that, like, the monkey Reggie? That's got to be, like, the monkey Reggie. 